now questions uh, like these are asked more and more in the exam so do not be afraid by looking at the long text of the question you should be able to read and understand it fairly easily uh, and the calculations involved are also very very simple but more importantly you can expect questions like this long questions with simple calculations okay so provided you you understand them correctly okay so this actually is very simple question i would i would tell you that so what we have been told is that there is an identity card uh, which has uh, the digits of the numbers in the identity card are a b c d e f g and then these digits can be one of these okay that is given notice that there is no zero there is no six in the list of numbers so now what we have been told is that this entire number is divisible by 9 now if we delete the first digit from the right so if i take only this number a b c d e f then the number is divisible by 6 which means that my f is actually even okay i can tell right away after deleting two digits from the right of the original number resulting number is divisible by 5 so if i digit delete these two digits then the number which is starts which ends in e is divisible by 5 which means that e has to be either 0 or 5 of course 0 is not given here is not even in the one of, it cannot be one of the digits so e has to be 5 so right by looking reading the question we can find find so much information after dealing, deleting three digits from the right of original number the resulting number is divisible by 4 so if i look at only this number a b c d then this number is actually divisible by 4 test for divisibility by 4 says that cd have to be divisible by 4 so cd has to be divisible by 4 that is what it is it is a given because uh, a number is divisible by 4 only if its last two digits are divisible by 4 so cd has to be divisible by 4 now if i delete four digits the resulting number is divisible by 3 so abc is divisible by 3 after deleting five digits the resulting number is divisible by 2 which means that again if i if i look at this number ab the b has to be even so b has to be even now with this information what have been told we have been asked to find the sum of the middle three digits so we have been asked to find c plus d plus 5 out of which uh, c plus d plus e okay that is what we have been told c plus d plus e out of which e is equal to 5 so we have to find this sum the only thing remaining that we need to find out is the value of c and d let us just directly go to that let us directly try to figure out what all things c and d can be we already know that c and d have to be uh, divisible by 4 that is something that we already know we have already taken 5 from here and we know that two of our even numbers will be taken away okay so when we form c and d we cannot take two even numbers we have to take take at least one even number that is 100 percent d has to be even because c d are divisible by uh, 4 but we cannot take all the uh, two even numbers so d has to be even it's a it's given because c d is divisible by 4 but c has to be odd 100 percent why because we only have three even numbers uh, three three even numbers here one two and 3 okay out of which 2 are taken f has to be even b has to be even okay therefore uh, if d is also even c has to be odd so let us try to form the all the possible combinations of uh, c and d so first we take 1 c as 1 and then d can be 2 then 1 4 and 1 8 then we take c as uh, next c5 we cannot take so c can be 7 so it is 7 2 7 4 and 7 8 then of course 9 can be there so we have 9 2 c can be 9 9 4 and 9 8 okay these things are of course possible values of uh, uh, c and d are possible but we also know that c and d if you look at it they have to be divisible by 4 so these numbers are not divisible by 4 so these cannot be our cd only these three are divisible by 
4 and the uh, you can do the the multiplication uh, your, the uh, division small division in, in on side okay it should not take a lot of your time to actually uh, confirm this okay now from all the possible values of c d and uh, e therefore can be 1 2 5 7 2 5 and 9 2 5 from the information that we have so far now we don't even have to use other information at all just by looking at this if this is the c d and e is this then my total comes out to be 8 if c d and e are this then my total comes out to be 14 if c d and e is 9 to 5 then my total would come out to be 5 6 7 plus 9 is 16 okay out of this only correct answer only choice present in the answer is actually equal to a now we could have completely figured this question out by looking at rest of the information but we don't really have to uh, do that because just by looking by going at it this much we can now pick the correct choice from the answer hopefully these things are very very clear divisibility test i told you again and again questions will be asked in your exam based on divisibility test so practice from door step tutor question bank very very important to practice those questions thank you